These chairs are each unique, and they weren't built by a carpenter. They grew in a forest in the Austrian state of Styria. This is the world's first ever growing rocking chair. I've never met anyone who's grown a rocking chair. It's one of a kind. It's been growing for around 12 years, and it'll need another two years before it's finally ready. Bernhard Schmidt came up with the idea of growing these unusual tree creations in 1996. There are more than 50 seats growing here in this chair tree park at different stages of maturity. The artist controls the shape using old chair frames that he hangs from the branches. The branches get bent into shape when they're still thin, and then they're held there until they get thick. Schmidt also intervenes in the biorhythm of the tree, depending on the design. The chairs are mainly harvested in spring because that's the best time to remove the bark. Then they need another two years to dry out. Schmidt experimented for years to perfect the shapes. I've discovered a few things, for example, how to regulate the flow of sap and how to specifically control how thick the branches grow. This axe redirects the sap, so the branches form a heart. Not all trees cooperate. There are some that just don't want to, like walnut and elm. I found all this stuff out. There are a few suitable types. I use maple and hazelnut, and hornbeam is good, too. Certain trees are my friends, the ones that oblige. Chairs also grow on trees here in Derbyshire, in the English countryside. Gavin Monroe has been running a furniture farm for about 10 years. It requires a lot of patience. He expects his first major chair harvest in 2018. A trained furniture designer, he uses wire and plastic frames to get the trees, mostly willows, into shape. He also makes wall mirrors and lampshades. Customers from all over the world buy his furniture. If you order now, you'll get a chair in about seven years. It's really starting to become an actual manufacturing process and system that's repeatable and scalable. So it's, um, yeah, it's all of these things. It's kind of art and design and horticulture and all mixed into one. Bernhard Schmidt wants to expand his tree park in Austria and bring new ideas to life. I'd like to grow bigger sculptures, ones made from lots of trees, ones you can even go inside, sculptures you can climb. Growing furniture, a game of creativity where the payoff only comes with patience.